Hey everybody, welcome back to Wet the Face. Glad you're here. And today we're going to be taking a look at Shaveology, a new breed of gentlemen. And uh, this is a dub this is a butterfly double-edged safety razor. Uh, haven't opened it yet, as you can see, the package is still sealed. Um, this is the box, and this is the back of the box kind of explaining the differences between, I guess, what their double-edged razor is and what's out there in the market. Um, don't know how different it is, but we're going to take a look at this. So let's, uh, let's open this up right now. And I will remove the packaging. Let's just open this. Here we have a nice presentation. Oh, it's a beautiful card. It, you have uh, some type of wipe here. This pretty much explains everything. There's your guarantee, what you're buying, how to load it. Let me just look at the back. Okay, so there's that. And now we have a few uh, extra items which are platinum blades we have a cover for the razor itself and here is the razor let me just take it out it is it has a um, it has a uh, an emblem here on it and a very easy to open bottom you you uh, turn the handle like this, the knob, and you can easily open and lock it in place. So, um, let me just see, it does not come apart, right? So it's not like something where there's a stem here and it can be opened that way. So it's just open from the bottom and you place the, um, you place the razor blade right here. It goes, um, right over the the notch here so it, it has no place to move and holds it together snugly so let's see how much this particular razor weighs and let's zero out the scale and it's 2.9 let's just say let's call it three three ounces so um, the only thing left to do is put a blade in it and give it a shot so you can see let me just uh, hold it up here and I will try to get some more light here and let you take a good look at that opened and closed I have noticed that uh, this is extremely easy to do now some razors have a resistance this has no resistance whatsoever none and uh, that feels good in the hand the chrome polishing is perfect there is no scratches no blemishes no nothing so uh, feels good in the hand I do not like the etching here it, it's almost like non-existent so it doesn't have a good grip for me personally but um, Others might find this okay, but let's uh, let's go use this. So let's go into the den and give it a try. Hey everybody, welcome to the den. Um, we have the Shaveology box here with the razor right in. Uh, the actual soap I'm going to be using is Club and Shaving Soap. I'm going to be using that for this shave. We have the... Um, the wet the face brush we're going to be using to apply that lather and make the lather but the but the blade I'm going to be using is from uh, Wizza, Wizza Shave uh, we're going to um, we're going to be using this blade here um, I'm interested in this I know people have asked me to do other other um, examples of using this blade with a razor like the Q-Shave and the R, R89 Grand. Um, I'll get to those. The Q-Shave was requested 
but um, you know the last time I used the Q shave on me it really destroyed my face uh, I had all these bumps and oh it was a disaster it took several weeks for it to heal and uh, I'm just not very keen on using it but I will I, I will do it um, and we'll do it with this blade so that's coming up but um, for now we're going to concentrate on this so uh, stay tuned we're going to get to this razor uh, we're going to open it up from the bottom and I'm going to open this right here here is the blade there you see it that's as tight as it goes and it is in there fine so we'll use that I'll put this away um, after um, when I brought this into the den I'm reading here and basically this is for uh, this I showed before it's for someone who really maybe new to wet shaving and they kind of give you instructions on uh, how to become a wet shaver which is really nice for the first timer so uh, that's that's really great it should be done in every package right shouldn't just be assumed so I'm gonna take my the bowl here and uh, we're gonna start placing the soap in the bowl and getting that pre and prepped and ready okay here's the bowl empty here's the soap and I'm just gonna use my finger here and it's once you break the tension you can really just uh, just swirl it around in here I don't think I've had I've actually used this in a while Just making sure it's in there. Look, it's the way I do things. You don't have to do things like that. No one is saying this is a tutorial. No one is saying that this is uh, something you should follow. It's the way I do things. You do not have to do the things the way I do. And here is um, my wet the face brush. And I'm waiting for some warm water to come out. And it is coming out right now. So I'm just going to empty the contents of the brush into the bowl and then we'll do the lather. So here we go. Fragrance is coming out really, really nice. It's one of those ones you really enjoy. Very, very soothing I think way I would describe it. Just gonna create a little bit more. Okay. Wow. So this seems uh, very good, and we'll bring this to the face and and then do the shave. Okay. So uh, I have about uh, six to seven days growth. So let me wet the face. And here is the lather. Look at that. <laughs> and uh, let me apply it. So the scent really is nice on this, if anybody hasn't used it yet. Um, I don't know if anybody has gone through this, but I uh, am looking for a mattress. You know, you have to change them every once in a while, and it's it's definitely time to change mine. Um, 
My God, mattresses are expensive. <laughs> yeah. When I bought my set, I bought everything that I needed in one shot, you know, um, mattress, box spring, uh, the whole nine yards, dressers and stuff. It was expensive, but we got it all in one shot and we never had to do anything. But you know, time marches on and you have to replace things and yeah, it's definitely time. So, uh, I'm looking to get that done. And uh, I once, we were buying a Tempur-Pedic once, you know, the cloud version, I think it was. And uh, we kind of liked it, but then when we got it home, it was like we sank in it and we just kept sinking, sinking. We were laughing, we couldn't even move. So we had a, we got something else. So I noticed that it's like almost the only kind of mattress you can buy now is like foam type of mattress. I don't know. I'll have to take a better look at it. Just started the process. But you know, you have Casper, you have Purple, uh, Helix. It's like a crazy. And they, you know, 2000 $2,100. It's like, come on, it's a mattress. Anyway, <laughs> here's the razor. So, let me start the shave. Here we go. So far, so good. So anybody who is interested in my Netflix endeavors, I have another one for you. This one, I avoided watching, but finally got around to it. I didn't think it was gonna be that good. I remember it even being announced. And I was curious, but not as much when I started watching how curious it became wanted to see the next one the next one the next one and this is called the warrior nun and the actress who plays I think her name is Eva I guess Ava Eva I should really know um, she's fantastic and it's all about good and evil. This was a uh, comic book that was uh, adapted to the screen. And I think they did a fantastic job of telling the story. I'll just give you a little background. It was a quadriplegic who uh, wound up, no fault of her own, in an accident which caused her to be that way. Her parents died. She was in a foreign country. And because she was Catholic, they took her in to a, like a monastery where they took care of her. She died. By someone else's hand. Not of natural causes. And just so happens They inserted, they meaning other warrior nuns who are running away from the devil, or should I say from other forces, where uh, she was 
she was, um, it was the most logical place to hide what is so sacred, which is the angel halo. And they put it, it, it was, it's inserted with a special tool and it goes into the back and they were hiding it from the people who were trying to get it and use it for evil purposes. And when they did that and they put it in her, uh, she, she became alive again and she wasn't quadriplegic anymore. And then the story continues from there. And she does such a wonderful job at portraying this, this girl who has been given a second chance. I think it's worth a look. It may not be for everybody, but I found it extremely entertaining. And uh, when you start caring for the characters, you know, that's when I think uh, it's a good story. So, there you have it. I did do, I did notice that I had a couple of like nicks. So I have two. Um, and it's probably due to the, uh, maybe because I'm talking and shaving. You know, that's what happens. So I'm trying to look, you know what, I want to use... I want to use something, but I don't see it here, so I'm going to go get it, and I'll be right back. A few moments later. So, I, I normally uh, don't have them in here, and I should, but this is one of my bombs, and uh, um, I've been getting rave reviews so far. People have contacted me telling me how great they liked the bomb and it is and I have sold out on so many I think the word is getting out so I'm just gonna apply it here oh yeah very nice because it was a close shave Wow, so, with that done, I can say, maybe start off with a blade of your choice. Um, maybe this is not the right blade to start off with. Uh, I would take a blade that is uh, pretty tame. This may be a little too rough for a first timer. And I think that's what this blade, or uh, this razor, uh, if you will, is geared for. I think it's geared for like the first timer and uh, you don't want to scare people uh, right away from wet shaving if they their first experience is they're cutting themselves so you want to um, you want to make sure that the blade that they're using with this particular razor which is in it which is inexpensive in itself the, the razor um, should be uh, used uh, with a, a tame blade not like a feather or anything like that so with that said I think it's a great product I really do like it uh, it was nice in the hand I thought I was going to um, have uh, problems holding it but it really wasn't that bad at all um, just uh, it, just by by using it I could determine that right away I'm just uh, putting some of this to just stop some of the weepers that I got. Yeah, you know, you don't know. I, and, and every time I talk and shave, it seems to happen. So it may not be in the fault of the razor, but the fault of me. <laughs> so with that, I had a great shave. I hope you guys have a great shave, and I'll see you next week.